One of the more important features that TCP adds to the IP layer is reliable delivery. Let's talk about how that works. Imagine I have a large picture, in this case of a filiform type thing with some odd looking feet, and I have a client that wants to retrieve that information from the server. And I want to retrieve the whole image. I don't want just parts of it, I want the entire image. And in order to transmit this image across the internet, we know that I'm going to have to break it up into smaller chunks or packets because these, this image is too large to transmit in a single IP packet. What TCP does to enable reliable delivery, now these packets are going to be transmitted over the internet, some of them may be lost, they may not arrive in order, that's the fundamental nature of the IP layer. So, Here's what TCP is going to do. And keep in mind, TCP runs at the endpoints. So the interior of the internet is unaware that TCP is operating. Only the server and the client are aware of what TCP is doing. So when the client requests this information from the server, the server's TCP uh, program is going to break up this content into these chunks, and it's going to assign each one of them a sequence number. So imagine I've numbered these seven chunks from zero to six. Now, I'm going to send these chunks out over the internet, and let's imagine that some of them arrive and some of them don't. So the receiver receives maybe uh, chunks 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So it's missing chunk 3. Chunk 3 was lost, was dropped at a router somewhere, who cares? The problem is, I don't have all of the information that the sender sent me. So what the sender needs to do is it needs to retry or retransmit this packet to the receiver. The problem is, how does the sender know that the receiver didn't receive this packet? So one of the fundamental parts of TCP is a protocol in which the receiver is expected to acknowledge that it receives data from the sender. So the receiver would send a message back to the sender and it would say, I got you know, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, uh, missing 3. So it sends this information back to the sender, and then the sender can say, okay, well, I want to make sure that all the content gets to the receiver, and so I'm going to retry, I'm going to resend this packet 3, and hopefully this time packet 3 will get there. And we repeat this process for all the packets that are part of this image until the receiver is able to reconstruct the entire image. So in successive rounds of this protocol, the sender will, as needed, retransmit parts of the image that are lost until the receiver has the entire uh, image. Now, this TCP, the internals of how TCP works, are actually quite complex. But this is the basic principle. One thing you might be wondering is this information that's exchanged as part of the protocol, the information that the receiver sends back to the sender that indicates what packets it got and what packets it's still missing, what happens if it gets lost? So if this information gets lost, the sender can do the same thing. It can assume that the receiver didn't receive any of the packets. So if this acknowledgement gets lost, after some period of time, the sender will say, uh-oh, this is bad. I haven't heard anything from the receiver. It's possible that all of those packets that I transmitted weren't received, and it can retry transmitting all of them. So the protocol is robust if data packets are lost, because the sender will retry. It's also robust if the acknowledgement packets, or the information that the receiver is sending back, is lost, because those will also just lead the sender to retry. An important part of getting this to work, however, is this idea of a timeout. So when the sender sends a piece of data to the receiver, like the set of chunks, it's possible, so the receiver's sitting here and it says, okay, I got 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Now I know that the underlying IP layer can deliver packets out of order, so it's possible that 3 is still out there somewhere in the internet, just you know, stuck in a queue on a router somewhere, and it's coming, it's coming, it's going to make it, uh, but it's just not quite there yet. But at some point, the receiver has to say, you know what? waited long enough for packet 3, I'm pretty sure it's never going to arrive, and I need to inform the sender that packet 3 is missing. 
So there are, again, a lot of details and a lot of intricacy that makes up how modern TCP impl uh, implementations actually work, but this is the basic principle. By exchanging messages, the sender and receiver can agree on the data that was received, and the sender can find out what data needs to be retransmitted. And if I repeat this process enough times, the entire beautiful picture of this cat, uh, I guess it's still missing feet, so I'll add the feet, um, can arrive at the receiver.